I thought it might be easier for me to actually show you the effect of the different uh, group scopes on your uh, membership restrictions. So let's have a look in my lab environment. What we have here is two domain controllers, two opposing forests. There's our cloud one called LG Cloud Local. Uh, there's another one called Source Local, which in your environment would be your local on-premise domain. So as you can see, I've created three different domain types. Sorry, three different group types. Okay. The one you've got um, in your configuration is a global group. So if we go into that global group, select the members and look at locations, you'll see only the local forest is actually shown up. That's absolutely correct. That's totally how it is by design. And what you'll see is um, you'll get the same effect with universal groups. OK, you'll only be able to see the local forest. All right. Now, if we look at this one, the domain local group, you'll get a different effect. When you go in and add your members, you'll also be able to add users and objects from the uh, trusting or trusted forest as well. So, um, for example, there I'll be able to add in domain users from source local. OK, now the question is then is how you can fix your environment to um, to allow the cross forest memberships. Okay, so your setup at the minute is currently set up as a global group. Now, what you can do to that global group, if you click on Universal, click Apply, click on Domain Local, and then click OK, we've now changed that group, that global group, to a Domain Local group. So now, if you go into your Members, click Add, click Locations, you'll see that we can now add users from the opposing uh, forest. There you go. Now, of course, your issue is you need to assess whether, um, or rather, you need to assess what the impact is of changing that group type from um, from global to domain local. Um, without knowing your application uh, details, that's something you need to assess. But that generally is how you would try and resolve that kind of um, resource forest topology for an application that requires group membership that are across forest. Anyway, I hope that tries to explain it a little bit more and uh, just tries to qualify what your issues are.